So Final Fantasy VII is getting a remake, an HD-ified version with lots of changes. So to commemorate the wonderful changes that are, well, hopefully wonderful, we're going to be doing an episode all about Final Fantasy VII. But first off, I want to say a big thanks to FinalFantasyWikia.com where I was able to obtain a lot of the information in this video. So let's get started. So Square Enix teamed up with Coca-Cola between 1999 in 2001 in Japan. Now this was to help promote the Final Fantasy series. The first such campaign started with collectible Final Fantasy figurines given away attached to Coke bottles, and there were a total of three sets, where the first set included Final Fantasy 7 and 8, set 2 included Final Fantasy 7, 8, and 9, and the final set, set 3, contained just Final Fantasy 10. Each set included three variants for the little one and a half inch figurines that came with them. So there was the deformed versions with a big head and disproportionate body, the real version, which was the more realistically proportioned, and the crystal version, which was solid red figurines. So today we are of course just focusing on the Final Fantasy VII figurines, which of course are only in sets 1 and 2. In set 1, there was Cloud Strife, Aerith, Sephiroth, Tifa, Chocobo, and Amog. Now in volume 2, or set 2, we have Cloud Strife again, another Aerith, another Sephiroth, another Tifa, but now we also have Barrett, Yuffie, Vincent, and Red. If you want some more information about the sets as a whole and in entirety, there is a cool lottery done that was done at the same exact time, and links are going to be listed in the description below so you can check out some more information pertaining to this series and what was going on when they were released. So next we have a vinyl record that was apparently released in 2013. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And we have 29 tracks from the original soundtrack reproduced here on vinyl. It was limited to only 1,200 copies, each numbered and would set you back about $80. But in 2015, they re-released it, but without the serial numbers. Next, we have this beautiful set of silver items. They are all made of 925 silver and are very uncommon. In fact, I'm not even sure if this is the full list, as it's very difficult to tell as a lot of these were hard to get information on and are pretty much all imports. We have this necktie pin that represents the Shinra company. We have Sephiroth's Black Materia Meteor, Silver Pendant with the motif of Cloud's arm bangles, Cloud's Signature Wolf, Dirge of Cerebrus Earrings, Sephiroth Black Silver Necklace, and a Sephiroth Ring. Overall, they are all pretty cool but pretty expensive. Now, one of, if not the rarest, pieces of Final Fantasy merchandise is for Final Fantasy VII, and it is awesome. It is the limited edition Final Fantasy VII music box that plays Aerith's theme. It has a gold plaque that says Aerith's theme and is limited in number, with only 100 supposed pieces ever being produced by the Sankyo Orpheus Japan. This music box has 50 notes, whereas most music boxes have only 18, and the box is made out of Kurabixa wood. It was originally sold in Japan for $500, or that's what it's speculated to be. But to obtain it, it's going to be quite difficult and quite expensive. They do pop up from time to time, but you're going to have lots of competition. Now also another super rare and holy grail like item also belongs to Final Fantasy VII. So if you're a fan of the series, you're really lucking out. Now this one is limited to only 1,000 units out there, so 10 times as much, but nearly as expensive. This piece that you're looking at here is more than just a statue. It's more of a 3D scene come to life. Now I'm just gonna stop talking about this so you can just enjoy this rarity. I really don't know anything about where it came from, but I do know that just like the music box, it is super rare and really awesome. So that's the end of the video. I'm not really a big Final Fantasy VII fan myself as of yet, but hopefully the reboot will take care of that for me. I unfortunately never grew up with it, so I'm sorry if I butchered any names. I am familiar with the franchise, but someone had requested this by the name of Jackson. He is one of our oldest subscribers and so this video is for you.